A security fence is all that's required. These Royal Engineers ensure the foundations are stable. The fence will enclose two football pitches and also the clubhouse. It will provide a defined boundary and a secure perimeter around the complex. 36 Engineering Regiment, we're, we're supporting 75 engineers. Uh, this is a fencing project for the Rhys Jones Community Centre. This is a project that was always in the, in the pipeline uh, for the centre, but unfortunately it's, it was never commercially viable to them. So through liaison from 75 Engineer Regiment and uh, the locals here, especially Mr Ken Stewart, they were able to suggest that we could help them out and, and that's why we're here today able to do this fencing project for the centre and the community. Many of us will remember the image of Rhys Jones. He was the 11-year-old boy shot dead after he cycled home after football practice in 2007. Last year, his family and friends opened the doors to the complex. They'd almost completed the project, but ran out of money to complete their security fence. Rhys's mum and dad, Melanie and Stephen, are both absolutely delighted, as are the community. They're seeing the British Army in the light that people should see them in. Because of financial constraints, it wouldn't have happened without the help of the Royal Engineers. Through its military aid to the civilian community, the British Army can sometimes help out in local projects. And with a nod to the future, reservists from 75 Engineer Regiment who are based in Warrington worked alongside regulars from 36 Engineers who are based in Maidstone, Kent. From start to finish, the engineers' MAC task will take seven days and it saved the charity a whopping £30,000. It's nice to be near so long because I'm from the North West myself and it's good to help a charity like the Rhys Jones because they've looked after us, the community, and it's just been good doing a task. Jesse Phillips, Forces News, Liverpool.